my name is Josh Zander. I'm the teaching professional at Stanford University Golf Course. Today I want to talk about how foot pressure can help you with your golf swing. As golf instructors through the years, we've focused a lot on your arms and your upper body as far as helping you with the path of your swing. But more recently, we've had a lot of technologies help us understand how we can use the ground and putting specifically foot pressure into the ground to help your body and your arms deliver the club to the ball squarely. Let's talk about it first simply in your setup. Oftentimes in the setup I'll see people with their hips very open. I've got a stick across my hips here to show you where my hips are pointed. The target line here on the ground. And oftentimes I'll see people and they'll have their stance or their hips a little bit open. This happens a lot with the driver when the ball gets forward in the stance the hips tend to follow that way. Now I want you to think about your foot pressure specific, specifically the pressure in your left foot as you do this. If your stance is open what I want you to do is put more pressure into the toe of your left foot and as you do that you can start to see how I'm starting to close my hips a little bit more. I kind of think of it as if I'm standing on a welcome mat if I was trying to twist the mat to the right, I would put pressure into the toe of my forward or my left foot here as I'm a right-handed player doing this. Now if I have the opposite problem, if I've got my hips a little bit too closed at address, what I'm going to do now is start to pressure the left heel and as I pressure the left heel you can see how I'm starting to open my hips up. I'm not even thinking about opening them, I'm just using the ground and putting pressure in different ways. Now this also works during the golf swing. So let's say everything is square to dress. You get to the top of your swing and you're one of those people who tends to come over the top. Well if you are what you can do is feel like at the beginning of your downswing you're starting to put pressure into the front of your left foot right into the toe and you can see how that drops everything to the inside. It keeps my upper body closed. Now let's say you're somebody who comes too much from the inside. So let's do the opposite. Let's get to the top of the swing. Let's put pressure in the left heel and you can see how this starts to bring the club more from the outside. So understanding how you can put pressure into the ground will affect the direction of the path of your swing which definitely has an effect on the golf ball. If you're somebody who's very into shot shaping you can use foot pressure to help you shape shots. As a right-handed player you want to feel like at the top of the backswing or beginning of the downswing you're going to pressure the front of your foot for your draws you're going to pressure the heel of the foot for fades. Let's go ahead and try this. Let's go ahead and hit a draw first. I'm putting a little more pressure in the front of my left foot which closes my hips and I'm going to put even more pressure there at the beginning of the downswing. Nice little draw. Now let's hit a fade. Beginning of my downswing, pressure the left heel. And there's a nice little fade into a front right pin. You gotta love foot pressure. <laughs> 